Here's the situation. You've created a line chart for a time range that hasn't completed yet. And as a result, the lines drop to the bottom axis for zero values. What you need is a way to stop or break the line at the last true value. Let's take a look at this chart. Here it is for six months, but May and June haven't completed yet. These numbers are getting pulled over from the data source. That's right here. As you can see, May and June do not say zero. They are blank. But these reference formulas are pulling over zeros. And that's what's pulling the line down to the zero axis. So I want to stop these lines at April. Now if I were to come over here and force this to be blank by saying if you come to this cell and look at it and it's blank, then make it blank here also. If not, then put in whatever you find. Okay, so that solved that problem, but the line's still getting pulled down. If I were to delete this formula completely, now the line stops where I want it to stop, but the formula's gone. Having formulas in here throughout the time range makes this automatic, meaning when I do get May and June formula, this will update, and I don't have to come in here and touch it. But if I get rid of the formulas, I have to come back in here every month and update this, and that's not what I want to do. So I do want a formula in here that will do that for me every month. So I don't have to do it, and then there's no chance that I forget to do it. So what I can do is do it if then this way. Come over to this formula, or this cell rather, look at it. If it's blank, then return this error because the chart will not chart an error. If it's not blank, then pull back whatever is in this cell. Like that. Now I can drag this all the way over and then all the way down. And there we go. This chart is automatic. It now knows the difference between a blank and a zero because it's stopping at April. When I do have May's information, it will update. And if I did happen to have a zero in here, it would pull it down to the zero axis. So let's try that. First, let's say we just got an update for May. So now this pulled back 5,000 correctly and it extended the line correctly. So let's come back over here and say March was horrific for LA. Let's see what happens here. It pulls back a zero that we can read and it dropped the line to zero. So it's working. Now let's talk about these NAs really quick. When I highlight this, you can see that they're there, but when I get off the range, they disappear. They're not really disappearing because I've conditionally formatted all of this to turn the font white if the cells on this sheet that you're referring to are blank. So let's look at that really quickly. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Here it is. It's basically saying when you go back to look at that cell, if it's blank, then use this format, which is just font white. And there we go. Now, for me, I don't need that extra step because I don't like a lot of stuff on my spreadsheet. What I was going to do anyway is hide all of this behind the chart just for a cleaner look. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.